Good morning, everybody. Michael the Maven, and in today's technical video, I'm going to define what the hyperfocal distance is, when you would want to be aware of it, and how you can calculate it. What, when, and how. Think of the hyperfocal distance as the minimum, the shortest distance between you and your subject when everything behind your subject and everything from the halfway point to your subject is in focus. It's kind of confusing because there's this half the distance between you and your subject. You can also safely assume that if you focus beyond the hyperfocal distance, that rule would still apply. So everything behind it would still be in focus, acceptably in focus, and everything from the halfway point to your subject would also be in focus, even though you could focus further and further away. The hyperfocal distance is going to change depending on your focal length of your lens, as well as the aperture being used, as well as the sensor. Those three things are going to come into play. There are some apps that make this really easy where we can sit in and we can dial in all the factors and the app will calculate the hyperfocal distance. It will calculate how deep your depth of field is and things of that nature. If you actually want to know the equation, it is your focal length squared divided by the sum of your aperture times the circle of confusion, which is a completely different topic. If you take all those things together and add them up, it should give you a very good approximation of your hyperfocal distance. As a rule of thumb, wide angle lenses have a much shorter hyperfocal distance than super telephoto zooms. For example, a 14 or a 15 millimeter lens, you're looking at a couple meters away versus a 400 millimeter lens at something like f5.6, talking about close to a kilometer. If you're shooting astrophotography, it is critically important because you want to get the stars, which are very, very far away, in focus. And sometimes you want to get the foreground in focus too. So if you can figure out the hyperfocal distance, you can get a foreground subject in stars, which are light years away, many, many thousands of light years away in the shot. And that's a very useful tool for astrophotographers because then they can figure out how deep this depth of field is. Cinematographers need to be aware of it. If they have a shot where they want to get everybody in focus, sometimes they'll have to really back up, depending again on their focal length of the lens. If you're unsure what your hyperfocal distance is and you don't have a calculator, you don't want to work it out, I can give you a couple quick tips. The first is that as landscape shooters, we typically use very wide angle lenses. Wide angle lenses have very short hyperfocal distances, and therefore, if you focus one third into the frame at f8, most of the time that is going to get you there for wide angle lenses. The second technique is to get comfortable using manual focus when you zoom in in live view. This can be very helpful if you wanna check the focus of specific subjects in your foreground as well as your background. And sometimes it can even be a little bit more accurate than trying to calculate distances. So my advice is if you don't know your hyperfocal distance and you're using a wide angle lens, F8, one third into the frame, or revert to your live view and manually dial it in. In any event, that is the hyperfocal distance, the definition, how to calculate it, and when you would use it. If you enjoy these kinds of lessons, check out my crash course on one of the many cameras I have available. I'll put those links in the description. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.